Hi everyone, this is Miss Lackey from the Audrey Kale Library. And today I'm going to present to you One Access, our partnership with the Charlotte Mech Public Library. I'll be going through how to log in to your accounts and access all the wonderful free resources you have. So what exactly is One Access? Well, One Access allows students and staff to borrow eBooks and e-resources with no late fees. You also have access to over 50 online resources and research databases. Students may also borrow up to 10 print or audiobooks, with, which don't include DVDs or music CDs. There are no overdue fines for One Access accounts, which is a perk versus just having a regular library card but users are, are still responsible for fees on lost or damaged books. So our big question is, well, how do we access this free account? Well, there's two ways, really three ways. Uh, you have access through your CMS student portal. You can visit cmlibrary.org, or you can go through the Audrey Kell Library website at bit.ly slash night library. So let's go ahead and get started with logging into our accounts. So I'm gonna to navigate to the Media Center website for Audrey Kell. Again, that site was bit.ly slash night library. And right there on the home screen, you're gonna see an option for one access. If you click on that button, It'll take you to the high school landing page of One Access through the Charlotte Mecklenburg Public Library. You're going to see resources right away highlighted for high school students here on this page, but the first thing we want to do is actually access our accounts. So if you look in the top right hand corner, there is a button that says account. It's right next to the menu button. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the login screen. So you're wondering, well, what's my login? For students, it is your student ID number, and your PIN is your four-digit birth year. So if you were born in 2002, you would simply type in 2002. For staff members, our username is the letters CMS, and then it is our NC Ed Cloud ID number, so that really long number. And our PIN is our four digits of that ID number. So again, the username is CMS with your long NC Ed Cloud number, and your PIN is the four numbers at the end of that. Uh, that is for staff. So I'm going to go ahead and get logged in and show you what the account looks like. So if you've logged in before, it will immediately take you to your dashboard. If you've never logged in before, it will prompt you to set up your account to where you can create like a username. Um, and some other information. So if you get locked out of your account, so go ahead and go through that process. But once you do that, it'll bring you to your dashboard, which kind of just shows you if you have any late fees, if you currently have any books checked out, or if you have anything on hold, and if they're ready to be picked up from the public library. So I'm gonna show you how to get back to the resources tab. Up here at the top in your navigation, there is an option that says resources. And it'll actually bring you to the full list of resources available to you by using One Access. So you have all of these resources here. You can filter them. If you're doing a school project and your teacher says you need scholarly research material, you'll want to make sure you're clicking on research databases and it'll pull up a list of appropriate research databases. Many of these have already been filtered um, by professional librarians. Uh, so you have access to all of these by just simply clicking access now. If you're just looking for some videos, I can filter out just for resources that offer me videos. Maybe I'm just looking for music. I want to stream some music. Here's some options for fr free uh, music streaming sites. Again, this was sim a simple tutorial of how to log into your One Access account through Charlotte Mecklenburg Library. If you have any questions or issues with your account, simply reach out to Miss Lackey, your media coordinator at Ardrey Kell High School. Thank you.